Their Excellencies, President of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, and the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, Rishi Sunak. Zayava President of Ukraine, statement by the President of Ukraine. Thank you. Prime Minister, ladies and gentlemen, all of us in Ukraine are very happy to welcome the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Rishi Sunak. Even though this is the first visit of the Prime Minister to Ukraine as the head of the state, it's not only the introduction, but a very fruitful and important visit for both of the countries. And I thank you for this. I thank you to the Prime Minister for this straightforward support to Ukraine and for this fruitful dialogue that we had today. We've discussed all matters that are important to both of the countries as well as for the global security. I have informed the Prime Minister on the consequences of Russian missile strikes. As of today, they've uh, damaged uh, around 50 percent of the Ukrainian energy infrastructure. And Russian terror is not just yet another atrocity committed against Ukrainians. But this is a reflection of the cynic Russian anti-European, anti-human policy. The Ukrainian energy generation capacities are capable not only to supply uh, Ukraine, but to serve as the stabilizing factor for the European energy market. We've exported the energy uh, from Ukraine, and we've uh, uh, had preliminary agreements on supplying energy to the European market. Now the Russian attacks are designed to destroy the European connection to the Ukrainian grid. So every attack against the Ukrainian energy facilities is the attack of the uh, against the whole European attacks. Besides, Russia has started uh, attacking not only the uh, energy infrastructure facilities, but the gas production facilities. We've also talked about the protection of the energy security and some of the proposals that I've heard today from from the UK Prime Minister uh, are very important and they're very solid. Thank you for that. We are counting on you. And also, it's very important from the security standpoint to have uh, a uh, price cap for Russian energy resources installed, and it should be operating very soon. Russia has to feel all those painful losses, uh, just as uh, they've caused a lot to the others. Of course, we talked about the protection of uh, the uh, air space, and thank you for the understanding of uh, the readiness uh, for supporting Ukraine. We've had a detailed discussion on the diplomatic efforts and joint efforts for the sake of peace. Ukrainian peace formula is very specific, it's very straightforward, it's very realistic. One of its advantages is the possibility for our partners to lead uh, some of the points of this formula, and we offer our friends to uh, select what's uh, the best uh, Import, what's, what's the most important for them. And we've uh, talked about the uh, UK serving as the co-creator of peace. I'm confident that we can have the results together with the Prime Minister because the uh, level of our relationship with UK is very broad and we're currently working on so many uh, aspects that it would take many hours for me to list even all of those directions. That is why I've only mentioned some of the most important one, the rebuilding, that was one of them, and uh, I thank the Prime Minister for the support, including the uh, the fund to support the energy of our uh, country. Then there is grain initiative, the called Grain from Ukraine. We've discussed on some of the options for the cooperation, some specific steps towards the food security. I believe that together with the UK, we'll be able to offer considerable assistance to the poorest countries, including countries in Africa and Asia, in terms of the economy. We are uh, helpful. Uh, we are grateful for the UK in taking a lead on some of the economic support aspects. Surely that would be beneficial to most of the countries. And we've uh, talked on the insurance and war wartime insurance. Uh, there is also already some achievements in this area. I will try to have some s very specific solutions in, in that aspect. Just as the uh, signature of the new uh, digital trade agreement with the UK and so far. 
uh, Ukraine, while Ukraine is not part of the alliance, it's critical to have security guarantees for Ukraine. Yet another topic that we've uh, discussed with the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister is visiting Ukraine at a time when we are starting uh, to commemorate the uh, victims of the Holodomor of 1932-33. So we've talked with the Prime Minister on possible ways of recognizing the Holodomor as the genocide of the Ukrainian people. It's important now, while Kremlin is committing new acts of genocide against the Ukrainian people, but this topic needs further elaboration, and we believe uh, that the justice will be ensured. Thank you so much, Rishi. The great honor. Thank you for your support, for your society, for your team and government. Thank you. Well, statement by the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Well, thank you, President Zelensky. It is deeply humbling to be with you in your country today. The courage of the Ukrainian people is an inspiration to the world. In years to come, we will tell our grandchildren of your story, how a proud and sovereign people stood up in the face of an appalling onslaught, how you fought, how you sacrificed, how you prevailed. As Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, I'm proud of how we stood with you from the very beginning. And I'm here today to say that the United Kingdom will continue to stand with you. We will stand with you until Ukraine has won the peace and security it needs and deserves. And then we will stand with you as you rebuild your great country. This year alone, we have provided £2.3 billion of military support. And we will do the same again next year. As you succeed in pushing back Russian forces on the ground, your homes, your hospitals, your power stations are being destroyed by the air. So to help you defend yourselves, we are today providing new air defense support, including 120 anti-aircraft guns, radar, and anti-drone equipment. We're extending our training for the Ukrainian armed forces to include specialist expertise from UK medics and engineers. And we are stepping up our support to help you through the cold, hard winter ahead. This includes winter kit for your troops, help for your amazing first responders, and another £16 million of humanitarian assistance for food and shelter. We will continue supporting your fight to get grain out of Ukraine, and it is a testament to you, Vladimir, that you have cared so deeply about how this conflict affects the rest of the world. We are also working to mobilize private finance to help you rebuild your country, and I look forward to hosting a reconstruction conference in London next summer. By then, let us hope that we have ended this barbarous war and secured a just peace. A just peace where democracy and the rule of law have prevailed. A just peace where those responsible for appalling war crimes will finally be held to account. And a just peace where the sovereignty of this great nation is never again imperiled. I know, Vladimir, that you and your people are paying a heavy price in blood. But in the difficult days ahead, let us draw hope from your extraordinary liberation of Kherson. Only weeks ago, Moscow proclaimed that great city as its administrative capital. But last week, in the main square, a trumpet could be heard playing your national anthem once again. People joined in with the words the glory and freedom of Ukraine has not yet perished. Together, we will ensure that the glory and freedom of Ukraine will never perish. Slava Ukraini. Here I am, Slava. Statement is concluded. Thank you for the media.